sometimes I put something in the refrigerator, then something else gets in front of it, and something else in front of that, and basically I forget what was in there first because it kept getting pushed back. Well, a few days ago, I looked in the bottom of the vegetable drawer. I mean, there's always lettuce on top and there's some, you know, other things there, but you take all those things out and I found this, which is easily lost, doesn't take up much room, and it's scions of Mandalay. And this is something that Scott had picked up on September 22nd. So that was more than a month ago. Uh, it uh, has been sealed in this plastic bag with a piece of damp paper towel to maintain humidity. And these scions were not prepared scions. They were just at a good stage. You can tell, uh, you know, if this was a prepared scion, there would not be these little pieces of leaf stem. Those would have fallen off. But this is what we're working with. Uh, when I first got these scions, of course there were more of them, and I immediately put them on one of these trees back here. And fortunately, uh, two or three of those grafts took. So I'm really happy about that, and maybe that was part of the reason that this never surfaced in the vegetable drawer. But anyway, today the experiment is let's graft these four scions and see if they take. A lot of people want to know how long can you keep scions in the refrigerator and so this should be a good indication. These were kept under pretty good conditions in the vegetable drawer in a sealed plastic bag with the damp paper towel. So let's get to work. So got my handy grafting kit in my pocket and so going to prepare these scions. Uh, of course cut off the ends the as these have all sealed up this is real dry so just cut those off you're into sort of decent looking wood there. I like to trim the stems back a little bit further in this situation. It just makes it easier for the buddy tape not to tear. I'm a little bit concerned about this particular piece of, is it this one? Yeah, this one just looks, looks a little bit uh, scrawny and wimpy. Not sure if this is going to take, but we'll try them all. You get to see if scrawny wimpy will survive for four weeks. But um, yep, here we get some of these stems off. So, you can tell here we've got a few buds swelling here and there. That's a pretty nice one. So, this is all looking green. Even on this wimpy one, it has a swollen bud. And so, hopefully, this will be a success. You, yeah, I didn't get 100% take on the first go-round. Uh, so basically, if we get any of these to survive, I would call that successful. Okay, so these are all wrapped, and let's go to the tree we're going to put them on. So here are some of the failed grafts, and this one happens to be Mandalay. Uh, it was from 923, the day after um, Scott got those scions, and this is like 
crackly. When it gets brown and crackly, you know it's no good. This one is also no good. It's all brown. I don't see. Sometimes they can fool you. This one is doesn't feel as crackly as the other one. This one is as be, is rotting in a different way. It's very rubbery. So this one and this one are definitely not good. I wouldn't bet that that, well, that one looks like it's not good, but it's not in our way. Over here, that one is also dead. And then on this side, here's one of our success stories. It's just leafing out all over the place. That's Mandalay, four shoots was from a month ago and this one over here is also doing well that's got three shoots so this is so cut back some of these leaves from the base plant and we can come back and Cut that the rest of the way in just a little bit. I'd like to see these new leaves hardened off a little bit more. So maybe in another week we can cut this one all the way back. But what am I going to do with these four? Uh, I'm going to try and graft it in areas that were not successful last time. And so this is definitely not successful. I can go uh, graft right down here. Hopefully that will take. And I'm not sure if I have room to graft below this one. And I will try to graft over here on this particular shoot. So that would get us four. Oh, this one's definitely bad. That's very crackly. I, I just broke off the top of it even just from bending it. So very dead inside. Not just a little bit dead. So basically, I will try to put these on the areas that didn't take the first time. Uh, looking for a little bit. Okay, so that's fairly flat on the long side and then just a little notch on this other side. Let's see if this is going to be good. This will be the north side of the tree and it looks like Yeah, it's going to barely uh, be able to squeeze on that. Let's see. But since this one is not good anymore, I'm just going to cut the the tape off the grafting elastic because that's taking up a little bit of room, and we'll make sure that this particular graft does not have any air separating it between that and the base plant. So let's see. Just. Put that right in the center. And I like to just use a little bit of buddy tape to sort of hold it in place. Use Wrap the bottom first. Oh, that one's not going to be quite long enough. This is a thick little branch, so I'm going to take up a little bit more 
the grafting elastic going around it. I'm just trimming this so it makes it easier to wrap because I use another piece of buddy tape on top so that it uh, the sun doesn't degrade that elastic too fast. Okay. So I'm going to write here Mandalay. Okay, so scion number two. Going to put that right over on this particular branch. One thing to notice with these older scions, at least this batch, is right in here, this is like yellow and sort of turning brown. That's definitely not ideal, but we'll see if it's good enough. Okay, now we've already gotten Mandalay written on here from last time, so all I need to do is add the date. And we're on to our final one. Yay.
this is very dead here and I would like to think go over just a little bit on this I think I can avoid that bump but we'll see So this completes phase one of our grafting with old scions experiment. Yes, I found those scions in the bottom of the vegetable drawer. They are over a month old. And the first time I grafted with the same variety, cut the same time, I did get some success. There were three of those grafts that took, and I think that three did not take of the original grafting. So out of the four scions that I put on today here here this branch and this one if we get one of those to be successful or to push out new growth I will consider that a success for the experiment I uh, you know a lot of people want to know how long can you keep scions in the refrigerator and to my way of thinking if we get one of these to take the answer will be at least a month so Check back with us a little bit later. Uh, we will do a follow-up video on this once we see some action.